In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a small spaceship icon for the front page of a website. What I have here is my rudimentary sketch of how I want my front page of my website to look. So these will be services for scaredalien.com. And my thumbnails, I'm going to make them look a little bit better with Adobe Illustrator. Now you don't have to use Adobe Illustrator. You can if you like. You can use something like Photoshop or Fireworks or any other image editing tool. But I'm just going to show you how a few of these tools work because they're very similar to other tools that we have in other programs, especially the Shapes and the Pen tool. These are the little icons that I created or images that I created. I have a spaceship, my gun, another spaceship, and an alien. And right now what I'm going to show you how to make is this little spaceship using the rudimentary tools given to us. I'm going to long press or long click on the rectangle tool and it will drop down a list of tools and one, the one that I want is the ellipse tool. And I'm going to drag out an ellipse until I think it's just about right. I'm going to do the same thing again for the canopy of my spaceship until I just think it's about right. Okay, so that doesn't look quite like the spaceship below and that's okay. So what I'm going to do is click on the pen tool and when I click on the pen tool and I move over the bottom point of my ellipse that I just drew with it still selected, I see a little minus sign and if I click on that point, it removes that point. And so now my canopy looks about like it should. Now the other problem with it is it has that red background fill and I can change that if I go to window and this is how a lot of the Adobe, uh, Adobe applications work. They will have a window menu with a lot of palette choices and here's color and that's the one that I want. On the color palette I have fill and stroke. So the top option is fill, the back one is a stroke. So you just click on what you want to change. The fill is what I want to change here to a white. And that seems to look okay. And the stroke I want to change to a black. I'm going to click on my other ellipse and change the stroke to black. Because I want a nice thick black line around it. So now I'm done with the spaceship and the canopy. The next thing I'm going to do is make this claw. So to make the claw, I'm going to use the pen tool. And I'm going to start, oh, I don't know, here. And I'm going to go over two and up one and click. Oh, down one and over two. Up one and over two down one and over two. Down one, you get the idea, we're just repeating a pattern here. Easy enough. Now this looks weird to me. It looks like it's filling in the shape in a way that I don't want it to. I'm trying to do the reverse of that. It only looks this way because I have a fill being applied. So I'm gonna come over to the color palette, click on my fill, icon and choose no fill. So that's a little bit better for me to look at. Now my last point that I clicked on is here and so I don't need to do anything except click on my next point and watch what happens. When I click and drag I'm holding down the mouse and I can get a nice curved shape and I think I'll let it go yeah, about there. Good enough. Now, the next thing I have to do, and this is what's weird about working with the pen tool, you have the ability to control these handles. I'm going to press the Alt button on my keyboard and my cursor changes, and now I can drag that handle all the way back to the point that I started at. Why do I want to do that? Because I didn't want it to follow that shape and that curve. 
My next point should be, I'm going to guess, I don't know, maybe here. And then straight lines. I'm just clicking where I want to draw the straight line to. And now I'm going to draw this nice little curve here by clicking on this last point where I want it to appear. And watch out, it's going to scroll the page. Okay. And I just keep holding down on that left mouse button until I get the curve that I want. And I think that'll work for me. The next thing that I have to do is tell Adobe Illustrator that I want this to be one shape. Right now it's just a path of lines. It's a, it's a bunch of paths, a bunch of individual lines, but I have to somehow join it. So let's see what they've given us. Oh, on the window menu. I think that I want, I think that I want this Pathfinder palette. That's, that is what I want. That's just where they've chosen to place the tools that I need. And here it is, Unite. I'm going to unite all of these lines. So now that they're united, this becomes one shape. I can come over to the color palette, click on Fill, and choose Black. And now that I've done that, I don't need this Unite anymore. And I'm going to scroll back over. Choose my selector, because right now I'm still using the pen tool, so I need to deselect the pen tool and use the selection tool. And I can grab any of the corners here, and it shows me that I can resize. The trick here is that I don't want to resize and make it really long and skinny or big and fat. And so the way that I do a what's called a proportional resize is hold the shift button and then resize. And it'll do a nice proportional resize. It'll keep the width and height uh, proportional to each other. And I can just move my little claw onto the front of my spaceship, which is problematic. That doesn't look very good. So the next thing I do is I select my claw right click and choose a range. Now how you do this in other applications maybe it's in a different place it's commonly you're gonna find a lot of this functionality like I'm showing you on the right click menu or you just have to know that you can do it in the application and figure out how. What I'm gonna do is send that item to the back. That object now went to the back behind the spaceship. The next thing I'm going to do is draw the little feet. So I click on the ellipse tool and I draw me a nice round ellipse. And then I choose the rectangle tool and I draw a rectangle like so. Maybe move it up a little bit. Holding, uh, click on my selection tool, hold down shift and click on the rectangle on the rectangle and the uh, ellipse so that I select them both and I want to right click now and group them now that they're grouped I can grab the edge and diagonally resize it move it where I want it to be approximately and then Watch this, as I move around the corners, I get that little rotate symbol and I can rotate my object. Now I'm gonna copy and paste, that's control C, control V, very common functionality, and rotate this next copy of the object like so. And make it a little higher, copy, paste, Move out toward the diagonal corner and I think I like it. The problem is that all three of these objects are in the front so I select one, two, three holding the shift, right click and arrange and send them to the back. And that's how I created my little spaceship. So without too terribly much effort you can create these little images and some of your own artwork for your website and it can look pretty decent. 
and it can help you create themed items that all have the same color palette, the same colors, the same line thickness, the same style, your style, whatever that style is that you choose to create. So get out there and play with these tools. This is Adobe Illustrator, uh, Adobe Photoshop Works, Pixlr, and many, many, many other image editing tools have similar tools. The tools that you're going to want probably that I think work the best are the pen tool and these object tools that draw things like rectangles, rounded rectangles, and ellipse. Because you can make just about any shape with the pen tool and starting with these shapes. Good luck!